What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Mm. Ready to go. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? Aww. You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? But I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. <sighs> you're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. Oh, huh, so I guess taking him away from the prayer door broke the link. Anyway, let's try and take on this thing. Uh, cooking. Cook and eat some pickleball sausage. Here we go, big man. I'm gonna hit you from the back. Pork and Kong. Watch yourselves. This guy means business. I know, I know. Training isn't worthwhile if you get killed while doing it. Actually, let me change up something. Somebody mentioned that having moves duplicated or uh, following like that, it ends up killing the uh, effectiveness a little bit of them, so. I'm just gonna work in some other things for the sake of not having uh, Trend whip, searing edge, twin whip. There we go, like that. So there's no double in a row anymore. Damn, that looks like a tickle. That's a huge AOE field, God damn. Hey, equipment skill mastery grants random skill that increases the speed and which master skills or something. That thing was pretty Unlocked, strong. Probably. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. <laughs> you say that like it's an afterthought. And that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu's a pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land, until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors, and has served them in repayment of their debt. Served them? 
As bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, spies, body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. So, that is all of the quests for the Shadow Guild done. And... Two red class beasts taken out. Should have a pretty penny of uh, pretty penny of gold once I get back. Gotcha, bitch. Move it or shot. <laughs> This thing don't get me, please. Number two. Hundred tenths corrupted ore pill bug. Barona Catacombs City Drainage System. Trigger a random skill which decreases elemental damage on moderate motor above. That's nice. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's Throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean Innominat. Innominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair. So I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other High Exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there, we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The church 
is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. Well, obviously. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything, if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh... Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. Bloodwing Butterfly Insignia. Alright, let's go through equipment. So I've gotten quite a few new things. Yo, that looks so badass. It sucks that it's not as strong as my other one. I wish I could, like, fashion over to that. 10% versus beast, start attack plus 8 damage against stunned, and 30x% by killing beasts. Damn, dude. Damn. A little bit more magic, slightly less attack. A little bit more armor, a lot less focus. Damn, it looks so good, though. Oh, man. I mean, it's not upgraded, but once I upgrade it, it could be better. Break soul. It's, like, identical, except I get the BG on break soul. Silky touch. Focus plus eight. Lose too much. Skill levels, learning speed increase, decrease SG cost of arts based on stars. That could be pretty good. A lot of these just, <clears throat> they just get, you know, specific type thing. I might put this one back on. Like right now I'm running, what, multipliers for martial arts? Lose some HP, but I gain quite a bit of defense. Mm. The only one that would really be good for is him. So it'll boost his magic damage up. Oh, uh, probably worth it. XP recovery on defeat foes, art attack increase, multiply spell damage with hidden arts. Reduction while stun increased, enemy stun duration increased. Mm. 
probably worth it. It's the biggest boost I'm seeing there. Stagger duration of arts and party ability time two second seconds just swapping into battle. As she called them arts based and learning. Let's do that. That up. Uh, as for the boots. All right. So we need to run by the merchant. We gotta do some selling and some upgrade. This mantle. Man, it sucks that that's. I really like to use that. That's a good touch. Alright, weapons. I think plus three is just the, the highest to something can go. So, well, aside from having a bunch of calcite fragments, I'm basically maxed on my stuff. Anything that you have that would actually be better? Fire attack power. So much easier. And just down left, down left, down left. And, uh, what's my total gold anyway right now? 18,000, not too shabby. Alright, so I have a feeling the assassination is probably gonna take a while, but we'll at least go through the rest sequence and all that. So we can start with the fresh in the next episode. High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up and talk to the tavern keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild. Operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf and they'll help you out. But the red scarf people were the ones that attacked the shipment. I don't want to rest. I want to... The fuck, dude? I want to start the mission. If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh. <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. 
The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the Gilded Helavis are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention? <laughs> Take a look. Oh. Uh. Well, there's more I can find there. Let's, Scout let's ship setting sail. To, uh, um. Am I just supposed to go upstairs to rest? No, with that. The star makes me think I'm supposed to just talk to the end key. I mean, I just have to pay him the 100 gold. Sometimes that's a thing. I mean, it's not like 100 gold's a lot of money. Screw it. Let's, let's rest. We know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island for a period of time. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Eifried brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. More. More. More! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like how her hand just like hungry. wraps itself back up. I'm so hungry. If survival is at stake, lately. an elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafisset. No. Fucked up the hell with you! You and your disgusting words! God damn, Velvet. What? Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me! You know full well I'm a demon! I'm sorry. Down. Awake or asleep, it's all one long nightmare. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. Bitch, you don't do anything! Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Alright, there's our guy. So let's go. We'll save this here. And that way we can get the assassination started off fresh with a new episode. So, stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys then with more.